Does anyone know what non-destructive editing is? You know, who know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. When sound recorded on tape or film is edited, portions are removed and either discarded or placed in outtakes reels or in trim bins. Later, if an edit needed to be changed, the original material may have been difficult or impossible to retrieve. This type of editing is known as destructive, since the original material is actually being altered. Today, with nonlinear audio and video workstations, most editing is non-destructive, since the original material is not actually being altered. The edits happen on a virtual timeline known as an EDL, or Edit Decision List. They're simply markers that tell the computer what parts to play at what time. So, as the editors cut, copy, paste, and delete, the original material remains unaltered. This makes making changes much easier, since the original material is still available. However, be aware that even with workstations, there can be some operations that are destructive. Many workstations will permit new recordings to overwrite existing recordings, much like tape. Also, whenever editing is done on a sample level, for example, redrawing the waveform to eliminate pops and other noises, this operation is destructive as well, since the redrawing permanently changes the original sound file. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.